Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 7th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Capricorn, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you at this time. And uh, that'll be that, Capricorn. Um, this is going to be part one, by the way, and there will be a part two. I'm going to take this card as well because it wanted to kind of pop out, but um, ooh, sorry, didn't want to do that, but um, there will be a part two and it will be linked up in the pinned comments down below. I kind of feel like you're being guided this week. You have this higher power card and um, so that's interesting. You have the lovers. Everybody has had the lovers this week. Um, that could be love for you. And, it, you know, going this way here, um, I'm going to organize these in a second, but you have the three of pentacles down here and you have the king of wands. This could be, you know, I like the three of pentacles for love because, you know, to me it represents someone who really wants to work on a team, someone who really wants to like make it happen, someone who actually wants a successful relationship, someone who's willing to build something of quality. Three of Pentacles is building something of quality, building something that matters. So if you're looking for love, that looks good. Even if you're not looking for love, everybody's had the lovers and I've been getting the word values. The lovers can represent your values, the things that you value in your life. And um, I feel for whatever reason, it's like the universe is getting very, is rewarding us if we, uh, I feel if we kind of like stick to our values. And what I mean by values, like standards, but not like, oh, my standards are this as far as love is concerned. I'm talking about standards in your life. Like you set the standard that you're going to maintain your health. You, you could set the standard that you're going to make a certain amount of money and you, then you work towards it, right? So if we do that, like I feel like we're be, being given the opportunity to kind of set standards um, with the universe. And if we start doing the work, I feel like we're gonna be rewarded. Again, we have all this energy in Capricorn and I always say with Capricorn energy, it's like you need to make an, an agreement with the universe with all the Capricorn energy. I've been saying this for years because we had Saturn and Capricorn a couple years ago. And you know, to me, Saturn and Capricorn definitely was like the start of this energy. Now we have a bunch of energy in Capricorn. And what I would say is it's like it doesn't Capricorn doesn't care what agreement you make as long as you stick to the agreement. I, you know, I always use, use the example, if you want to be healthy and you make the agreement with the universe, okay, I'll do one push up a day. As long as you do that one push up a day, you will see results. But the secret is you're not going to just do one push up a day. You're going to get started and because you're doing it, because you agree to it and because you stick to it, then the universe is going to like help you and you'll do, start doing 10 and then maybe a hundred. And then before you know it, you'll be doing something else like jumping jacks or whatever, right? A ridiculous example, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you start off with this uh, higher power card. So I feel like you are definitely being guided at this time towards things. I feel a lot of resistance in like, I feel a lot of resistance <laughs> in being guided at this time. It's like, you know, I feel you are being pushed and guided in maybe a new direction in your life. Like maybe you have a job or a business or a career and it's, I feel resistance in doing it or maybe things just aren't working out as well as you thought they were going to or as you thought that they should. And that's kind of how I'm seeing this first row. You have the Page of Swords the Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm seeing this as like the quality of work you can do, which is pretty high. Again, the Three of Pentacles is the card of quality work. It is a card of doing a good job. He has done a good job building those Three Pentacles. So, you know, it is a card of quality work, but there's a fire triangle up here and there's a water triangle right here. The water triangle on this card kind of says that there's more, <laughs> that, you know, you feel like there is more to life. I feel a certain sense of boredom in your reading. And I, I, this is not a criticism, by the way, Capricorn. I just feel a sense of boredom here. And I feel like it's because sometimes I think we get bored with things because it's like there's no more, it's not challenging to us any longer, or, you know, we're just looking for something new or whatever. It's almost like you've been doing something for too long. Uh, I kind of feel for you, maybe it's the challenge aspect or, you know, just maybe maybe you have bigger a bigger vision vision with the three of pentacles because the water triangle on here, again, is kind of like the icing on the cake. It's like, he's done a good job. He's done the work, three of pentacles, but that water triangle is like saying he's dreaming of more. He, there is more that he could potentially accomplish, right? Uh, and you have these seven of wands as well, which is also my card of setting standards. Like he is defending his position at the top of a hill. So he's kind of like uh, cementing his successes 
you know, he is cementing the things that he wants in his life. If he makes, you know, $50,000 a year, I'm just round numbers here, Capricorn. If that's the number he wants to make, he is making sure that he always makes at least that much money. So it's kind of like, to me, the seven of wands, the card of conviction, is card of like knowing that you know you deserve something or you can have something. But, you know, kind of behind that, he does all the things to make sure that he doesn't go back down the hill. Same thing in relationships. It's like, you know, if he wants a positive relationship, he makes sure that he's keeping the romance alive. He makes sure that he is, you know, dating the person that he's marrying or, he, you know, he makes sure to do all that extra stuff. I feel like for the most part, people are too lazy in relationships nowadays and they don't do the extra work, right? That Because it is work, right? And, uh, you know, why do you think people basically become roommates? Because they stop doing the things that they did in the first place to fall in love with each other, right? So Seven of Wands is about doing those extra things. And um, not just in love, though, in pretty much all areas of your life. I feel, for whatever reason, that you have a major focus on that. <laughs> that's, what, that's why I'm going on and on and on about this, Capricorn. I feel like you have a major focus on kind of keeping things rolling, whether it's financially or whatever. I feel, for whatever reason, I feel scared. I feel like crap in my pants here, Capricorn, with this Page of Swords. I feel like this Page of Swords... I feel he is looking back at the past and he's got to sort up and he really does not want to repeat something. That's what I feel intuitively on this page of swords. I do not feel any of the typical page of swords meanings on this page of swords. I feel like this is you looking at the past, looking at your past experiences and saying, I don't want that ever again. So there is like a little bit of a fear here. Um, again, I, there's no reason to be afraid, but maybe it is kind of like motivating you. Uh, next, you have this Cancer card. It says Immerse. I feel like this is critically important for everyone, not just you, Capricorn. The Nine of Cups keeps showing up in readings. And you know the Nine of Cups can be a wish or wish fulfillment, but you know what the Nine of Cups really is? It's a card of immersion. It's a card of soaking in an energy. I always say on the Nine of Cups that the guy that's on the Nine of Cups, he looks like a little bit chubby, right? And it kind of represents the fact that he's having a feast on the Nine of Cups, but it kind of says... He's chubby, so he has had many feasts in the past. So that's why it represents kind of immersing yourself in an energy. I kind of feel this with this Cancer card here, Capricorn, that if you are like one foot in, one foot out, if you're not totally committed to something that you're doing, I feel like it's not going to work. I feel like you need to kind of completely dive into something, like especially for those of you that are working on projects or businesses, I feel like you need to make the full commitment and then you're going to be successful uh, with this energy. Uh, it could be anything else that you want to learn as well. Like you, maybe you want to learn about love. Again, I feel like you need to like completely immerse yourself in that world and you will be successful. You have the Five of Swords the King of Wands and the Six of Swords here. Uh, again, I feel like this Five of Swords is saying that you really want, uh, like, you know, the Five of Swords is a card of winning at all cost. This guy in the front, you know, you, you know what you could say, Capricorn? You could say that all three of these people are the same person. Uh, in some tarot books, they actually say that you can say that all three of those people are exactly the same. It represents a person who has been through like three stages of loss, three stages of battle, and, and someone who has learned how to win, basically. But it is a card of winning at all costs. I really do feel that maybe you are a little bit too focused on that. You know, the thing about the Three of Pentacles, this lady has polka dots on her cloak, and it can represent taking things too seriously and needing to have more fun in your life. And I kind of feel that for you here, Capricorn, where I feel like there are a lot of opportunities for you to uh, kind of like lighten up the energy just a little bit. Make sure you're having more fun. I do feel like you are um, very, like, I feel like this is your energy, the king of wands. I feel like you're very focused on being successful at this time in any area of your life. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you are. This is just the energy that is surrounding you, Capricorn. And I feel like you're very focused on you know, I don't want to say like winning, but I do feel you are very focused on kind of being successful. It's, it's more like you're, you don't want to experience this right here, uh, this page of swords. I really, I feel very resistant to, to that page of swords energy. Again, I feel like it's your past life or, um, you know, all the past difficulties that you've been through. You are moving away from these things with the Six of Swords. Uh, pretty much a lot of people, I would say almost everyone has had the Six of Swords. These people are moving to calmer shores. As I always say, they're moving away. They're moving, you know, 
this way, but they're kind of leaving the choppy waters behind. So I feel for a lot of you, you could still be in a period of time that's like a little bit of choppy, but I feel like this is a period of time. It's not, you know, it's not going to be forever. Uh, by the way, if you're thinking of doing something new Capricorn, uh, I would definitely encourage you to do that here. Um, with this reading, it just popped into my head. I feel like for some of you, it's like you're maybe you have a business or a career and you're thinking about starting over, starting something new. Uh, I feel like you're you wouldn't be starting from zero, you know. So um, if you're th one of those people who's thinking about doing that, I do feel this reading is saying that would be very successful for you. You'd actually find a lot of success in starting something new. Uh, you have three cards here. You have this November card, so there could be something important happening in November. I kind of feel like something already happened in November, so like, you know, last November, basically. Uh, you have this fair man card. It says dealings or a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. And you have this carrot card. It says opportunity or windfall. This could just be a person. Again, in a general reading, I'm not going to attach gender to my cards. Just reading for too many of you. But you could be dealing with a person, like a fair person. And the carrot card says opportunity or windfall. So let's see. Uh, where this windfall or opportunity is. You have the lovers, the knight of swords, and the five of cups. I'm telling you right now, do not, <laughs> I feel like it's super important that you do not go this direction and run towards the past, right? I feel like you need to be okay in walking away from something at this time, Capricorn. He's crying over these spilt cups here, but if he were to turn around, he would see these two cups and this bridge that leads to this castle. I kind of feel that this reading is saying, be okay starting over, you know, and I'm not saying you're starting over, but, you know, for those of you that maybe have a business and it isn't working out as well as you would like, I feel like the universe is actually pushing you towards future, you know, bigger, more, a more secure opportunity, but it's like you have to be okay moving towards something new. Uh, a lot of people have been getting this as well, Nine of Swords, so I definitely wouldn't be rushing into anything at this time. Take your time, do your research. You know, think about the things that you want to do in your life. Uh, and you have the lovers here. For some of you, uh, I don't know, I get a lot of resistance around love, if I'm being honest with you, Capricorn. Um, I do feel like some of you could have like a person uh, coming into your life, but I feel like you just resist this person. I don't think there's anything wrong with them, but I would listen to that. You know, it's like I, if, you're not, if you're not feeling it, <laughs> you're, you're just not feeling it, right? I just wouldn't force a relationship to happen. Um that's definitely for like one of you out there. Um, for others, I feel the lovers is saying it's time to get very, very clear on your values, especially um, with that lovers card, which we talked about in the beginning. You have that opportunity card as well. It's like, I think once you tell the universe, like, these are my standards, this is what I'm willing to accept, this is what I might want my life to be, then the universe can you know kind of provide a path for you. And I feel that could be part of it. But a pretty good reading so far. Definitely being guided in the right direction. So I like to see that. Um, but uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. And uh, part two is pinned in the comments down below.